Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to give you an oversight of the little corner that I sit in to do my makeup. I know it's been a while, but I want to give you something that you can see and something you can enjoy. I will be back in a couple of weeks, so give me some time. Bye bye. The middle, maybe the beginning of March. So stay tuned and see what I show you. So this is the overview to where I sit. This is my little corner. That bookshelf right there, I'm getting rid of that bookshelf because it's, it's I don't want it anymore. Um, but yeah, this is where I sit at. I have three lights. I have a three point light setting system. Um, this is the Glamcore Multi Extreme Lighting System. I paid about three, I'm gonna say two eighty three hundred dollars for this system, but it's amazing. I could charge my iPad. I could buy an extra clip to hold my camera. Um, I also got the tabletop to go with it. This used to be my old system. This is the Elite when they first came out. I used to travel with this light when I did pro makeup. And then this is the Diva Light system. I'm not a fan of this. There's no shade to Diva Light. I just don't really like the way this light lights up. But because I paid so much money for it, I'm going to keep it. So let's go around to the front and I will show you the makeup that I'm currently loving right now. So I'm going to start here at my desk. I have the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia. Everybody should have this palette. This is a must have. Mine's a little dusty though. Don't worry about that. I also have the Jackie Ina Palette. I'm not going to go through every single palette, but this is a must. You have to have this palette. I got this free. This is Makeup Revolution. I never used it. I also got the Dose of Colors palette, which is another great palette to have. This is another palette I got from Makeup Revolution from, I believe I spent like $200 in Ulta and they gave me those palettes for free. Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I haven't used this yet. I also have some little palettes as well. I have some ColourPop Brown Sugar, the Shayla Palette, Proceed with Caution, Milani's Pure Passion. Now this is really pretty. I really like that. We got some Morphe. I haven't used that yet. There's a lot of palettes I need to use. This is another Morphe palette. I'm doing this one handed. I'm on my phone. Right here. That's cute. And if you want to know what playlist I'm listening, I'm listening to Pandora. Uh, this is the Maze. Yeah, this is Maze. Frankie Beverly and Maze. Okay, so let me put these palettes back. This is my big Mac eyeshadow palette. Let me just show you guys. This palette. Oh, this palette is custom built. I am transitioning my eyeshadows. Um, I no longer want to use the pots, so I just want to use the refill pans. So these are some of the colors that I have, just the traditional colors. I don't have anything that's, you know, limited. So I love that. I also have my old school MAC blush palette. We have Raisin, Fever, Love Lorn, Trace of Gold, um, Pink Swoon. So that's that. And for my face, I have just, a, you know, just a regular MAC Stroke Cream, Fix Plus, lip pencils, like, I love these right here. Where's the other one? Oh God, no honey, where's the Shayla? Okay, so this is limited brown. I believe this is, oh, I don't use subculture. Which color is this? I don't use oak either, oh, you tried it. Where's my favorite? Chestnut, Shayla, BSF number four. Also have some blushes that I love here as well. Sorry, this is a little shaky, but like I said, I'm on my phone. So these are some of my favorite MAC eyeshadow. Did I say eyeshadow? My favorite MAC blushes at the time. This is Desert Rose, Peach Twist. Amber and Rose, and this is a cream blush. Hold on for a second. That is amazing. 
I use this for lipstick. I use it for cheeks. Whatever. I, I love this. Put this back. So that's just my normal stuff that I normally reach for. Right there. Let me show you some more palettes. This is a divider that I picked up from Home Goods. This is a palette that I ordered online. I forget the name of the company. Oh, there they go. MK Acrylic Designs. They are on Instagram. So I have some Julius Place, The Beat. Okay, so I'm sorry, that was my kid's school. So this is the Beat Lash Co. And they are on Instagram. This is a pretty palette as well. Hold on, you guys. Oh, I just dented the palette. A little bit. Is this gorge? So this is a good palette. Some more Juvia's Place back here. Um, what is this one? This is the Shayla palette as well. I believe everybody have this one by now. So I have that. I also have the It's My Ray Ray palette, which I haven't touched that yet. You guys, I have so many looks I'm going to be doing. Um, let me put this all back. I have so many looks I'm going to be doing because I haven't been playing in makeup. And I'm going to tell you all about why I've been going so soon. So let me put this back. I'll be right back. Okay, so on to the next container I got from the, the kitchen section out of Walmart. A lot of these are face powders. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll give you a little gist. This is Black Radiance Setting Powder, CoverGirl Queen uh, Bronzer. This is a staple. I believe every makeup artist and every makeup enthusiast needs this bronzer in our life. Some MAC iridescent powders, some MSFs. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is Metal Rock, limited edition. It's no longer sold. Sorry about that. Um, I had to pay a lot of money for this because I had to have it. So, Warm Blend, Show Gold, uh, Sun Powder, Sun Power, MSF. I have some Press Oil Blocking Powder that I love from Black Opal. Um, I put a dent in that one. So, this is my backup one. Some Black Opal Powder, Cream to Powder Foundations. They're nice. Concealers. Contouring sticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills, MAC concealers, LA Pro concealers, which are amazing. The new Milani concealers, they are nice, they are affordable. Oh, stay with it. Um, Black Opal concealer. Very good for covering tattoos as well. So let's put that to the side. Moving on to this container. Let me bring it down. So I am very into nude lipsticks right now and nude, uh, just nude everything right now. You know, that soft glam look is in, I'm here for it. So these are some of my MAC lipsticks. Some of the names are right here. Velvet Teddy, Smoke Almond, which is new. Peach Star, Naturally Transformed, Sis, which is no longer sold. Yash, uh, Mocha. I also have some... Oh, let me open this drawer. Okay, so I have some Dose of Colors, some Black Opal. I love this gloss, Purr. What else we got here? Another fave, Mac Enchantress. They no longer sell that. Uh, this is new. I just picked it up. Oh. Very pretty. Uh, yeah, those are colors. 
I just recently got into them. I really love their products. It's a little pricey. She's a little pricey now. I ain't gonna act like she cheap. She's not cheap at all. Down here, we have some more lip glosses. Some MAC Lip Mix. These are amazing if you wanna custom customize your uh, lips. These are amazing. Uh, some Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetic Lip Tar. I used to use this a lot. Some Juvia's Place. I just got this one. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. It's called Miami Spice. It's very nice. What else do we have over here? This one's a bit. Oh. What's this one? Ashton? Yeah. Now this. I'm not into liquid lipsticks like that, but this one, this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, yeah, I love her. All right, so that's the news. Let me put her back and we will proceed. So there you have the news. That's what I'm loving right now. So this is my last system. I love her. This is the five drawer um, enter design from Amazon. I love Amazon and the I think I paid like $30 for this box it's okay it has a couple of dents in it but I'm using it for now so right here I have some of my NARS products let me show you guys this NARS palette okay I did not want to spend the $50 for this palette but I couldn't leave it in the store look at that girl Ooh, amazing. Translucent powder. This is NARS Caramel Concealer. I love that. Um, I love it so much I don't reach for it unless I'm going somewhere very important. And these are some NARS Old Eyeshadows. Which one is this? Shine Blue. I hate the packaging. This is the old packaging. Ooh, that brown. Mm. What's this? Galapagos. Now, you want to know the eye the brown eyeshadow I love? She right here. She right here. Look at that. Get into, get all the way into that. Yes, God. Macomb. Now, this eyeshadow, she cute, but she messy. I don't like reaching for her. She's tropic. This one, she's very pretty, too. Night breed, and this is night, some night flight. Like I said, I hate the packaging. Oh, but this is the old packaging. I don't know what Norris is doing with the new packaging. The old packaging, I don't like because it's just it's messy. And there, I have some Nars Honolulu, which is snap. Look. That's how messy that palette is. Ugh. There you have it. Alright, let's put this one back. This palette is the blush palette by NARS. Like I said, I hate, I hate the packaging. Ugh. I don't even want to open them, but look. Just, just know I got some. Okay. I don't want to touch it right now. Drawers, don't embarrass me. These are my MAC eyeshadows. Oh, oh, come on, Nick. Who remember this Cinderella collection? Well, no, Dalmatian, the Ville. That's that's so bad. So that's the drawer right here. My purples and greens and all oh, this. Oh, oh, what's this diamond dog? Yeah, she real nice. Over top of like a um, I would take that eyeshadow and use it with like club. I know club, so I think that's club. And put that over top of club. Nice. And then the last palette I have right here is. 
my pressed pigment. This is Guild by Association. This is a Doback member. Um, I said Doback. Throwback. Sea and Sky Duo. Oh, yes, I kept her. Um, this is Max Blue Flame. Another cream color base. Just black. Deeply dashing. And this one. I believe this is Max Cinderella. Hold on for a second. Yeah. Oh, when you're trying to film, my folks keep calling. Okay, so that's Max and the fella. She a little messy, but honey, look at that. Look at that. On a date night out. Stop it. So, that's it for that. Okay, this is a one-woman show. Some lashes. Can we talk lashes for a second? So, I have the, the beat mix collection i have some lily lashes i have some 615s some 614 lashes kiss lashes which are so cute i love those and some wispy lashes from kiss i love those so there you have it oh i have one more container i need to show you guys Let's pause this for a second. So this is the last container that I own. Um, I have some Anastasia Beverly Hills sponges. A little dusty. Some beauty blenders. These little cotton wobs I get from Sally's and Walmart. No, these came from CVS. I don't really reach for my beauty blenders a lot. I like to reach for these because they're throwaways. And I learned this from Sam Fine. Okay. So, let me give you another last little, little look, honey. Ooh. Okay. So normally, a lot of the stuff be pushed away. And I got this from the, no, I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I use this so when I'm ready to, like, pull makeup pieces i put in these containers and then when i'm done i put put it all back because i don't like stuff laying around so this is my little table isn't she cute i won't have it for long because you know i had it for a couple of years it's time to upgrade so but this is my favorite piece i love it so much i love my brushes all right so i'll see you all in a couple weeks i hope you enjoy this quick choppy video it's all over the place, but it is what it is. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.